it's Allie with Franklin County Solid Waste. Welcome back to Trash Talk. Today we have a very special guest. If you don't know her already, Diane Strong is with us. She is the executive director of the Bourbon on the Banks Festival. Thanks for coming, Diane. Thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. So we've heard this year and in previous years that the Bourbon on the Banks Festival is a zero waste event. Um, how long has the festival been reusing tasting glasses? So the first year we were we did the festival, it was 2019. Um, and then I, I became the director in 2020. That was the pandemic. And I incorporated the tasting glasses um, in 2021, which was our truly our second event. I really liked that. It was there last year. And I liked having the souvenir glass to take home. So that right, was a good experience. right. And you know, Liquor Barn, they make it affordable for us to do that. They're our sponsor. In the past, they've split the price with us. And this year, they're actually covering the price of the tasting glass. So of course, we're a nonprofit. So anytime we can save money, it, it just gets returned to our beneficiaries. So that's always good. That's they've great been a great hear. partner. Yeah. I love that. OK. so. I read in the State Journal that the VIP event is zero waste. Can you tell us more about that? So the Friday VIP reception and um, bourbon auction is zero waste, and so is our other Friday event, which is a bourbon pairing with uh, Peggy No Stevens and Buffalo Trace. Um, both of those are zero waste. We will compost everything at the City Digester. And um, so, yeah, those, those are phenomenal. It's, it'll be recycled or composted, everything that comes out of that event, or both of those events. And this is October 4th is the VIP event. Are there still tickets? Yes, the VIP and the bourbon uh, tasting or pairing has tickets left. Our Bourbon on the Banks Festival, we have sold out of the main tickets, but we have opened up some more of the Twilight tickets. So that'll get you in for two hours. So if you're local, that's a pretty, I mean, it's pretty easy to do a lot in two hours. Another question I have, is this the first year that food vendors are plastic free? No, nope. when I came on board, I required all of the food vendors to, um, to carry non-plastic, non-styrofoam. So compostables, papers. And actually we did that the very first year for Bourbon Street on Broadway because that was my event that I was in charge of. Okay, wonderful. As a lot of the viewers know, styrofoam never breaks down, takes 4,000 plus years to break down, and our goal always is landfill diversion. We wanna preserve the life of our Benson Valley landfill as long as we can. So anything reducing waste, we love to elevate and support that initiative. So really excited to hear about the event and all the efforts. Um, and then what motivated your team to make this a plastic free event? Well, you know, the first year, it's always, it's kind of experimental, but going through afterwards and cleaning up and seeing the sampling cups overflowing from every garbage can, it was, it was really disheartening, um, especially being on the river. You know, it's, we just, we want to do the right thing by the river and anything that has a chance of blowing in the river. But, but the plastic cups, it was, it was out unbelievable and I knew that when they asked me to take over I was going to make sure we had true glasses that people walk around and they resample out of. We have rinse um, buckets everywhere so if they don't want to you know intermix bourbons or whatever they're sampling. Um, in just last year alone we kept 60,000 sampling cups out of the landfill and wow. if you multiply that by the previous three before that it's that's a big number so I feel like we're, we're making a an input there. I think so too. That's a lot of plastic being kept out of the landfill. We right. love to hear it. And, and you know, when I hire the food trucks and I tell them that, that we don't allow plastic and styrofoam, you would be very surprised. It's, um, it's not a deal breaker for them. They say that they are asked all over the place to do that. Okay. Uh, it's not um, unheard of and I've never had one say that they weren't going to come. Okay. they couldn't do it so are most of the vendors local to kentucky the food vendors are mostly yes um local local regional we have one out of state okay yeah yeah that's great to hear i know that the cat since the county is doing some plastic reduction initiatives it's great to hear examples of events who have made the shift and keep that going year after year okay diane is there anything else you want to tell the viewers about your event well, just, I mean, I, I hope that you're able to make it out um, even for the two hours. Uh, I would love it if you went and uh, joined the VIP reception and the bourbon pairing event. Those are both phenomenal events. Uh, you'll get to, um, you know, meet a lot of people in the industry. You'll have a chance to 
bid on a barrel at the VIP. We've got a Four Roses and a Whiskey Thief barrel that are up for bid. Um, so it, it's a nice night and Peggy No Stevens is just a phenomenal woman. Um, if you Google her name, you'll be really impressed and excited to get some class with her. So I don't know. <laughs> That's neat. Yeah, it's really cool experience right here in Frankfurt to be able to see all the distilleries in action at once. Yes. It's where else can we get that? I, right. I really like this. And bit. don't forget about the Bourbon Street on Broadway. Gosh, if you have a family and you can go down there, you don't have to spend a dime. We've got tons of stuff for kids to do. It's fun for adults. Um, it's it's if you've not been, you, you've definitely got to come. We've got a costume contest this year. Oh wow! So the kids, if they want to get their um, Halloween costume on early and go out, uh, we do have cash prizes. So it's going to be really fun. Fun. There's a lot going on that day, and it's October fifth. Um, October 4th is the free festival for the kids and okay. the two, um, the two uh, ticketed events at the History Center. And the festival is on October 5th. Gotcha. All right. Well, thank you so much, Diane, for coming on the show, coming on Trash Talk to talk about your plastic free event. My We're favorite so subject. <laughs> We're so <laughs> excited about it. So thank you guys for tuning in to Trash Talk. Go ahead and message Bourbon on the Banks on Facebook or Instagram with any questions you have about the festival. We'll see you next time on Trash Talk. Thank you.